name is Sinead Yunita and we're back for another weekly video. Um, this video we're going to be talking about hunting. Um, a little later on in the video I'll be just giving you a little, little bit about me <laughs> section for a couple of seconds. And we have two competitions as well for this month. Um, so stay tuned um, and away we go. <laughs> Cool. So I think I'm going to talk about the first product today. Yes. Uh, we actually had one of our customers sort of ask me to mention um, one of our, well, our machete, the uh, the Yoki, the Silky Saw Yoki. Um, actually, it's not a saw at all, the Silky Yoki. Sorry about that. They sort of go hand in hand. Um, so when we're talking hunting, I'm not an expert by any means. I think my greatest extent of hunting has been possums and, and rabbits. Um, <laughs> but we're probably talking hunting on a bigger scale, but even hunting for those sorts of things. We've got some great products, or you know, even just some ornaments which remind you of <laughs> such an activity. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Yoki is what I'm going to be talking about today. So we have it, I don't know if you can see, featured on our little display wall we've got here of different products that you might appeal to you. Um, but I've got our demo, so I'm going to talk about that one because it's easier to grab. So this is the Yoki. Now, the Yoki is um, compact, as you can see, it comes in a protective sheet that's really good. It's not going to cut your hand in any way. Um, and it's a Velcro lid, which is really good because it holds on really well. And then, after you open that, it slides out. So this is the machete. What's great about this, in, in I guess, this activity, is you might be walking through the bush and it, you might need to just quickly slash some... <laughs> Not friends, but some, some stuff out of the way, lantana or vines, or if you're in North Queensland, wait a while, or you know, anything. So this is really, really good for those sort of slashing jobs. It's not overly thick, so I'm not sure if you can see there. The nutter axe that we've got is much thicker, so this is a, a thinner one, but not thin to be weak by any means. This is still very, very strong, and I can't even bend it actually, so it's a, a very strong, solid piece of um, equipment but still lightweight and thin enough to slash through soft viney stuff really easily so yeah the the yoki machete it's a great silky product and really good uh, for the application if you guys are going guys or girls are going through the bush or farmland and need something like this so that is my little product for today and i'm trying to think if there's anything else chrome plated which is good protection um, rubber handle, which is where well, it's not normal rubber, it's the special gum rubber that Silky make. Uh, also, if for some reason you need to replace that blade, screwless handle, which is really great, so easy to replace the blade if need be. Um, and again, like all Silky products, if you lose anything, everything's replaceable, so really um, quick and easy to replace. And also, how you put these back on, should you have brought one and wanted to replace the blade, there's like a little notchy thing here. And then in the rubber part of the handle, there's sort of a, a notch out like that. So you actually start kind of up at an angle like that and sort of push it down like so. And then you just squeeze it from here down. And then at the end, you would have noticed before, it was sort of a bobbly thing like that. So you've just sort of got to press it a little bit like up and over like that, pop, and then it goes on. So that's how you get that um, handle cover back on, should you replace the blade. And I think that's as technical as I'm going to get today. <laughs> so my knowledge on um, hunting is very, very limited. And I, prior to this video, I did do a little bit of um, research about the hunting um, hobby that everyone has. Um, personally, I'm not <laughs> into that stuff. <laughs> but I know I do have relatives that are, are into it. Um, and they do enjoy it. So what, when I was on this website, I did come across why you would need both a um, saw and you would need a knife as well. And the great thing about having a saw on you as well is not only does it clear the branches that are in your way, but it can cut um, the flesh of whatever you've caught <laughs> uh, and the bone as well so and if you're always using a knife all the time to cut through the bone it is will take you a little bit longer but will eventually um, blunt your knife as well so we have a wide range of hand saws and folding saws but we've just selected a few in this little section of um, great products so here is one of our folding saws so this is a Silky saw, um, silky saw gomboy curved, so it's a new addition to the gomboy family. Um, so the great thing, whoop, hang on, 
<laughs> it's got a cool new case in it. Yeah. It's kind of, to grab it's good functional around. when you're using it, but when it's in the display case, it's kind of hooked onto the camera, <laughs> which makes having difficulty getting off. But it's quite neat. Like most of the cases with silky swords, you have to thread your belt through. Yes. Whereas this one here, it kind of loops behind and over, so you can put it on with your belt already in place. Um, and then take it off again as well. So it's, it's kind of cool. You don't have to half get undressed yeah. <laughs> the, the hand saw off your belt. That's a beauty. I can hold that. <laughs> cool. Um, but the other side was also telling, um, explaining as well the difference between a fixed and a folding saw as well. So the folding saw is great for because most of them have cool cases like this. It is great for compact, um, to fit in your backpack or even fit into your back pocket as well. And the ah, paper cut <laughs> from yesterday. <laughs> Good spot. <laughs> um, then you have a fixed saw as well, so that is great if you are cutting um, just a larger, larger piece of meat, basically. Or even horns. Sometimes horns, horns yeah, antlers, antlers, antlers as well. That sort of stuff. But stronger as well, a fixed saw because it's full tang. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So the blade that means the blade goes completely into the handle. Less um, chance of breaking it. So hard to break a blade. Yes, so that's the great thing about having a saw on you as well. We're in Australia. Nothing's impossible when it comes to breaking stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they made them just as strong for us guys. <laughs> Everything's made to higher specs for Australia. <laughs> Sorry, off track. <laughs> Does that mean you know if you're getting a silky so it's gonna be good? <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of a rundown of what I learned on the website. Um, I know clearly you guys would know a lot more about the hunting industry and why you would need a store and why would you need a hat. It's a lot better than I would. <laughs> but like with, with as Shanae mentioned, we've got a huge range of them. Yeah. So they have a variety of what, blade lengths, tooth sizes. Tooth sizes. Um, tooth style. Tooth style, exactly. There's just a million one reasons why you need a silk saw yeah. as well. But our job is to kind of help you figure out which one and yes. make it easier for you. So basically, we know a lot about wood, so we can bring it down to wood. Um, anything that's hard and dry, you need... A fine um, tooth saw as well. Yep, yeah. so bone, that sort of stuff, hard, yeah. sometimes dry. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, and then you come and it's, you get to choose if you want a folding saw, if you want a fixed saw as yeah. You all know fixed saws are stronger than folding saws. At this, but yeah, if bones your priority. You want a fine tooth saw. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if it's flesh, it's basically like green wood, so live wood that's wet and sappy. Uh, we would recommend a larger tooth because otherwise they get clogged up really easily. So your larger tooth saws, like this one here, is a large tooth. So if somebody was sort of wanting to cut through wet material, <laughs> yeah. um, then you would be looking at a larger tooth saw. And then again, if you want something more versatile that will do a little bit of both and we're talking bigger things we're cutting, um, then a medium tooth will sort of be the best of both worlds because it'll be small enough to... And there's the phone. Whoops. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, it'll be small enough to cope with, you know, a larger bones but also big enough to cope with wet sappy areas. Yeah, so that's exactly. sort of how you choose the tooth size and how you shrink that range really quickly. Yeah, and if you have any, if you are deciding on what next silky saw you would like to have, you can either email us or give us a call and we are more than happy to help you um, shrink down your range. And yeah, it's, make it easier to pick because it seems yeah. daunting, but when you figure out what you actually want, it shrinks it really quickly. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that's a great thing about So... That's it for products for us, so now it's a... Uh, <laughs> Get to know Shanae a little bit. <laughs> so also while I was on this website, <laughs> it did come up with a few gory photos um, and it did have why you would need a saw on you. And I'm talking about splitting the pelvis. I am talking about <laughs> on like your deer or your rabbit or whatever it is you were cutting. I am just caught talking about the spine. I'm talking, oh, that's making me cringe. <laughs> I do love meat. I love to eat my meat. But when, it's, when I see it, it's not particularly <laughs> my ideal thing. <laughs> so I don't think today's going hunting anytime soon. <laughs> so I would not be your partner in crime. So that's basically what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's just pretty much a little bit about me. You got a paper cut yesterday. Great thing about working in an office, I guess. <laughs> We're really tough down here yeah. in the ATC products. 
at least you know we are doing research for you and we do want to get to know you guys and we do want to know what you guys are into what you guys are doing outside of the office that we're in <laughs> yeah so it makes it easier for us so today we had um, one of our customers ask about the machete so hence the machete is what we're talking about <laughs> Exactly, yeah. and this month we're focusing on camping, oh not camping, um, hunting, hunting obviously. and fishing as well. So next week you'll be talking about fishing, so if yeah. you're an avid fisher, I know most guys are, and I personally do love to fish. Yeah, her father, he fishes as well and has, <laughs> has a boat that I think you'll all want to go out for. <laughs> but anyway, back to what we're here for. Yes. Um, last things, competitions, competitions. giveaways, <laughs> free stuff, who Ooh. doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> exactly. So I will start off with the first competition that as all of you would most know is it's winner Silky Poker Boy Curved as well. Oh my goodness, I was excited to pull out of nowhere. <laughs> so um, as you know, you can either send us a comment or you can send us um, a photo or a reason why you would want to win a Silky Saw, no, a Silky Cock Poker, Poker Boy Curved. So you guys to make me nervous. <laughs> send to. Silky Saws at hotmail.com or uh, Facebook is Silky Saws Australia yep. um, and Instagram it is Silky Saws so it's simple, easy and it'll be all in the links below so you can easily yeah. click on it as well. So but that's competition one. Ooh, if you're interested in hunting and fishing, Nita has it. So in. we are searching for the hunters and fishermen. So this is, I'm sorry, only for Australia. But, well actually no, you can, anyone in the world can join the Instagram <laughs> but the competition's just for the Australian market. Um, we're after your emails so we can send you a little blurb basically. Not a lot of them, just like, well we don't have one yet so just one at this point. <laughs> um, but the competition is if you send us your email you'll go in the draw to win also one of the amazing new Curve Pocket Boys. So we have two new Instagrams, one of them is, a is it Hunting ATC or ATC Hunting? Hunting ATC. Yeah, products. Hunting ATC Products. So if you jump on there, um, you may not want to publicly share your email, but you can message, I think, through Instagram. <laughs> Private maybe. message. You Private can, message, yeah. yep. Or again, Silky Saws at Hotmail. I'll just mention it was because of the hunting little YouTube clip. Um, and the fishing one is fishing ATC products as well. So oh. that will just, the hunting one will just have a little bit, and fishing one will just yeah. have a little bit, just about particular products you can use out in what you love to The fishing do. world, yeah. yes. So that's to win a free pocket boy. Send us your email and you'll go in the drawer to win that. And that's really if you are into either fishing or hunting. If you're not, you'll get one day an email from us about those two subjects. So <laughs> don't send us your email if you're not into that. Otherwise, that is it, I think, from us this week. Yes. Thank you for watching and um, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we didn't mention anything about everything in the bio. By the way, we forgot to mention all that stuff, all the emails, all the info is in the bio. Click on that show more tab and you'll see all the links. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>